Um, before we go on, I would like to make a comment regarding an article that appeared in the paper today. Um, it was a letter to the editor and has appeared in the Webster Herald. I believe it's appeared in the Webster Post. I know that it has appeared on social media next door. Um, it's uh, been commented on it there. And in that article it says that, um, this is by William Stata, I participated in a number of village board meetings open to the public and learned that the Webster Citizens Action League has initiated an effort to send welcome kits to new residents in the village of Webster. The question is why has the board decided to endorse this effort to allow a political advocacy organization to distribute materials? And he summarizes, the next step in this process should be the unbundling of all efforts by the Webster Citizens Action League to generate material that should be tightly controlled and managed by the village and town governments. Um, I would comment that this, uh, this letter is definitely an error. It is not truthful. Um, the village board approved the distribution of welcome packets to the village, to new village residents through the village parks and recreation committee efforts. It was brought first to the board's attention on September 5th. It subsequently came back before the board uh, with refinements of the letter in it and things that were included in it and now is uh, at this point um, in place to go out to residents. The village board approved distributing a packet of materials the information in there, and I have it, includes the Webster Museum, a letter from myself with village uh, contact information, the village of Webster, which includes in it passport times, history, um, other information regarding the village, historic preservation commission, services offered by the village, business improvement district flyer, referring them to the uh, WebsterBid.com for information, and Village of Webster Parks Guide. Those are the uh, pieces of information that are in this welcome packet. None of those were produced by or are distributed by the Webster Citizen Action League. So it is a false <coughs> statement to say that they are publishing, publishing and uh, putting this out. Um, besides the fact that um, uh, the question was asked, will it cost taxpayers money to distribute? We decided that the packet would be distributed to those uh, new residents that became known to us by members of the Parks and Recreation Committee as well as members of this board, um, so that we could welcome new residents personally. All of the information that is in here is specific to the village, even the bid. The business, business admin, um, incentive district is solely within the boundaries of the village. It is not in the town. Um, and we go to meetings once a month, the Webster uh, Economic Development Alliance, um, Robin Whitaker, who is uh, um, the head of the bid, uh, makes known things that are coming up uh, that the bid is going to be supporting and doing. Um, we certainly um, bring up and publish, publicize anyways, um, things that the bid is doing. If the town, town re uh, chooses to do that, they certainly could as well. Um, but uh, that information is known. Uh, it is known to the town board, but um, I don't think mention is made much of it at town meetings. Um, so, I would like to um, also say that uh, in a statement on nextdoor.com, uh, Mr. Sada said he would appreciate if someone who was a newcomer and had a packet would forward it to him. Thanks. Uh, I believe that that means that he has not seen the packet, commented and wrote his article prior to even looking at the information that was in the packet. So I would uh, sincerely ask, this is not a, uh, not a tool to divide the village and the town, this is a tool 
for new residents who are coming into the village to become more familiar with what is being offered in the village. 